So Hong Kong. Trip to Hong Kong started off with a possible job opportunity for Cameron. His, that didn't really play out, but we decided to just have a good time in the city and travel and see it anyways. Planned on staying a week, but we ended up leaving after three to four days because it was expensive. It was way more expensive than we thought and just didn't have the funds for a week long trip there. And it started off on quite a rocky start as well, um, which we'll have a whole nother video about that that uh, we'll link below. But it just, it kind of put a bad taste in our mouths off jump. So basically what happened was we didn't realize how small that the standard living conditions in Hong Kong are. So the budget room that we thought was gonna save us a bunch of money and be really great, actually cost us more money because we just could not stay there. We had to cancel. Not only was it small, like probably 10 square feet of space, uh, but it was really dirty. It was, it was really bad. Dark, it was moldy, no windows. It just felt like a prison and there was no way we could stay there with Nina. I mean, she was only like, three, four months at the time. So we got to Hong Kong at like 2 a.m. Slept in that horrible room for four, five hours and then woke up and found a much cleaner, much brighter living space with an actual window and had a much better time. Yeah, so we, we scrapped that last room. We got a new one. <laughs> it was still small, but it was a lot more comfortable and hygienic. Oh, we are so high off the ground. Like, look at this. I hope I don't drop my phone playing around. Oh my God. So we're on the 22nd floor right now. Oh! And what was nice about the room being small was that it kind of forced us to get out more and just do more things and see more things around the city. vegan and vegetarian buffets there. Bro, they brought the biggest plate of food out. <laughs> we just ate these dumplings and now my mouth is numb. I don't know what's in, oh my gosh, if I don't make it, man, <laughs> you knew it was this dumpling, all right? We saw the Big Buddha, we saw Victoria Peak. We did a lot and we just, we walked around just taking in the beauty of the city because it is, it's really, it's really beautiful. And we were there for the beginning of the extradition, which is pretty cool to see. And things hadn't really gotten violent yet, uh, but you just saw massive, massive crowds of people all wearing white. So after Hong Kong, we went to Da Nang, Vietnam, which was going to be our last destination. So... <laughs> Um. Anyways, Da Nang. It was great. Uh, we stayed there for one month and we had a really, really good experience. You could tell even from just the first day of being there that we were going to like it and that we just liked the whole vibe of the city. We didn't have the best apartment. It was just kind of dark and there wasn't really a window and it wasn't the best. But we stayed really close to the beach, which was nice, so it was maybe like a two minute walk and you were right there in the water. Still weren't really going out much because Nina was, was pretty young still and uh, Cameron discovered Breaking Bad, so you can't not binge Breaking Bad. But we really liked uh, the city, it's, it's relaxed, but it's like you could find peace but still get some hustle and bustle if you wanted to and do a lot of things. We found the food to be really good, which was nice. The Vietnamese people are super friendly, super helpful, uh, really welcoming. And it was just really in line with the type of lifestyle that we wanted and were looking for. And it was affordable, that was a big thing too. Uh, a lot of things that we we 
did in Vietnam would be too expensive for us to do in the States. And we could see that it had the potential to be able to build and, and, and save a lot of money living here. So that's why we came back in 2020. After our first time in Da Nang, we had to go back to the States just to tie up some loose ends and see family and uh, we visited Canada for a little bit as well. But we knew that the goal was to come back here and live here for a longer period of time. But that's where we are now. If you have any questions about where we've been so far, anything we didn't mention that you want to know, just let us know in the comments. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And hit subscribe if you haven't already so you can see what other videos we're putting out. Travel tips, parenting tips, cooking tips, lots of tips. Yeah, hope you enjoyed. Bye.